We can put our trust in all the Bible says. We can put our trust in all the Bible says because it is the true word of God. Second Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture is God-breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, which means the Holy Bible was given to us from God, and we can use it by reading it daily out of our love for God. By reading the Holy Bible, it can strengthen our, your faith and you can learn more about God's word. We know that the Bible is the true word of God because he told the human writers everything that should be in the Holy Bible. They wrote what they were told. They wrote the law, which teaches us what we should and should not do according to God, and the gospel, which teaches the good news of our Savior. The Holy Bible teaches the whole truth of God and leads people to love God and worship him. The Bible is perfect without any errors because God, who is perfect, created the Bible. Romans 15:4 says, For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through endurance and the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. This means that God wants to teach us through the Holy Bible. The Bible was made for people to believe in the Savior and know who he is and what he has done. The Holy Bible is proof that he is the Lord and that he saved us. We want to preach God's word so that people will believe in him and go to heaven to live with God. God's word is important to every Christian because it gives us the information we should know about our Savior. The Holy Bible will tell the truth about everything we want and need to know. Reading the Bible is a good way to learn about God and everything he sacrificed for us sinners. The Bible is very special. God does not want anyone to change anything in his Holy Bible. Everything in the Bible is true because he told the human writers what needed to be put in the Bible, and they put it the exact way God told them to put it. 2 Timothy 4.3 tells us, The time will come when men will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear, which means people want to change the word of God instead of keeping it the way the Lord wrote it. We can put our trust in all the Bible says because God shows what to put in it with no mistakes or errors. God is perfect, so the Bible, which he created, is perfect too. When we re read the Bible, we become closer to God. Psalm 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. It is important to receive the Lord's Supper often. How often should we take Holy Communion? It is good for us to take communion often. At the Last Supper, Jesus told his disciples, Do this in remembrance of me. We need to take Holy Communion because it assures us that our sins are forgiven, it strengthens our faith, and it brings believers together in faith. When taking Holy Communion, we can be sure that God forgives the sins of everyone. Holy Communion is given to repentant sinners only because we need to know the true meaning of Christ's death. 1 John 1, 8 and 9 says, If we claim to be without sin, we, de we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. We take Holy Communion often because we sin daily and Holy Communion assures us that all of our sins are forgiven by God. The body is together with the bread and the blood is together with the wine. We are reminded of Jesus' death on the cross when we take Holy Communion. We should take Holy Communion re regularly to strengthen our faith in God. It is important that we strengthen our faith in God because we do not want to lose faith in Him. Faith in God is required to get into heaven someday, and we do not want to risk losing our faith. We should be faithful and take Holy Communion as much as possible so that we can remain faithful and live in heaven with God forever. 1 Corinthians 11.26 says, Whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. When we take Holy Communion with fellow believers, we celebrate that we are all of one faith and we encourage each other in, one, in our faith. 1 Corinthians 10.17 says, We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. This means that all of us are in one faith and all believe the same things. Holy Communion is important because we, wa we will want to thank God for everything he that he did for us out of grace. We do not deserve heaven, but God sent his son to die for us so that we could live forever in heaven with him. 
John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Romans 4.7 tells us, Blessed are those whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered through his death. Jesus promises the forgiveness of sins and strengthens our weak faith.